Right, now. Team ban. TBD is gonna get first ban. Let's see. Uh, Io. Oh, of course, Batrider. No, uh, they tend to be happening. They tend to been picking Io first. I don't know what yeah. the big threat is. Oh, Bat! Aha! I was right. <sighs> Bam! Man. I call it. <laughs> There's the Io. Darkseer. Yeah. Or Alchemist. Doxy? Well, it depends what they're going for. Uh, previously they went for... Uh, well, well, they didn't, didn't well, go for... Well, they get for, first uh, pick, so... If they don't ban the Darkseer, they might pick him up. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, they, they like... Uh, that might be the discussion that's taking him so long right now. It's like, if we ban him, can we get him? You know, if we don't... Maybe? Maybe? Uh, the Knicks. The Knicks. Ah, uh, they, they won't... They're to, thinking dark seer, and I, I think. believe they're. I believe they're going kind of squishy then, because that's usually what you do. And do oh, no, 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 not dark oh. seer for you. But the nose rule the virus there, though. That was actually banned both games last time. So, what is that background noise? Which background noise to be specific? I don't know it's like static noising. Uh, Rowan, is that you by uh, by incident? Oh no, it's gone. It's going. It's just you. Go shake your mic every once no, in a while. it's you, Docky. It quite be. You have some white noise going on in your background. I don't know why, but... Some white noise. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, like static noise. Is that better? You know, uh, anyway, let's talk about the draft here. Um, we have an Adderall Devourer <laughs> most likely going mid. He's a very good shutdown for any... Uh, playing up against any middle, especially if uh, he or she is an intelligence hero. For example, a Queen of Pain, a Pug, they all hate Outworld Devourer. Because you have no mana to cast your spells, you have no nothing. No nothing. Nothing for you. He also, yeah. it's very effective, he doesn't have to just work on uh, intelligence heroes. That mana, that intelligence still is damaging to any hero that has to use anything other than a right click to win. And... Nice. Yep. Oh, oh, Naga Siren. But uh, continue what you were saying. Uh, I would probably say the Radiant best option team. to handle an Outworld is going to be possibly a Weaver, but more likely maybe a Sniper would be a good one to counter him out just but because snipers? range fight. <laughs> yes, but no. Like, Snipers... <laughs> not a really potent mid because even though you say like oh I can pop stomp with him then again it's only a pop <laughs> in a, a real game in a real professional game he's just he, no he, just he does not play. carry well he's late game headshotting uh luck <laughs> what's Jepsex a oh okay anyway so uh they picked up a Rubik and Nagasone and Weaver are actually a combo again so that's really interesting to note yeah, um, it's like, a very common, common combo. Groups. Yeah. Yeah. They ban it's a like Razor. The bug. Razor? Yeah. Oh, I think that could mean they're going for an Alchemist. Because he can steal everything, or somebody like a Life Stealer. There goes Nature's that could mean Prophet. That. Radiant Team ban. Yep. And we see Nature's Prophet coming back as a band so often now, especially since in TI3, we saw the full potential of him, like, the ending game was just brilliant, it was all about pushing, split pushing, what uh, Nature's Prophet excels at, it was so such a tense and close game, go and watch it, it's really worth it, um, if you didn't yet, but yeah, I think people really saw the potential there of him, oh, huh, well, yeah, <laughs> they banned the Razor oh. and the Alchemist. There goes my theory. <laughs> well, well that'll make maybe for some entertainment for a here. A life stealer wouldn't be maybe. a bad choice if they do a puck to go with it. Yeah, just a bomb or a spirit breaker. I saw spirit breaker uh, chosen a few times. Five and he is getting a lot more play good. lately. Um, he does allow a lot more global Reserve presence time. because there's nowhere really you can hide from spirit breaker. They banned the Jakiro. Nope. Chikuro is That's one of the few also, that can really mess yeah. up Naga and Weaver. One yeah, ice path really true. stops 
a lot of stuff. And uh, going back to this fair breaker, he's also very good at shutting down split push. For example, when you're having an Aegis Prophet, he can even like um, go invisible, but it still doesn't matter because you just still charge on him. Yeah, I mean, it does allow so, for a lot of stuff to be done. But he's not yet picked, and I don't believe he will be picked this time around. He's still kind of a, a pop stomper too. So he's yeah, almost I, I to the good level. Yeah, he's just not versatile enough. He's good at picking off, but that's really it. He's not a really big team fight player or anything. Oh, keep it light. Interesting. Good pick. Visage, good counter. Dire team. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh, you gotta keep it light. One shot. <laughs> Yeah, but he will stop, however, some uh, early game aggression again because of Illuminate. Yeah. Illuminate's one of those ones that gets better the longer the game goes on, and it just completely no, dies off. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go, yeah. I wanted to say that. But, yeah, Lifestealer. Interesting. And they've but already gotten rid of trouble for him by taking out yeah. the Razor. Maybe they did plan on it, though. They have, like, the secret st strategy. I could be. Ooh. I'd like to see a Meepo. <laughs> oh no, don't get your hopes up too high. You don't want to play against this, like, a Keeper of the Light. You don't want to play against a Keeper of the Light with a Meepo. It's just like, yay, we'll all die! Whee! <laughs> Let's see the light! Oh, He's that'd be time. entertaining, if nothing else. The, um... <laughs> what would really be bad is if he won with it, you know? It's like, oh, it's a straight counter. And still lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I am noticing that TBD is having a little trouble with connections. Uh, two of their guys disconnected. One of them came back. The other one is still out. Um, but we seem to be progressing here pretty well. Um, I'm kind of curious who they're planning on picking here. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. That's not too bad of a choice there, really. The tracking will allow him to see anything that's going on, and Keeper of the Light's going to have a hard time moving around as long as Bounty Hunter's plus, out. Plus, plus, don't forget about that. He's also a counter to Weaver, because you can just follow him everywhere you go. You, you even get a movement speed boost close to him, so you could potentially shut him down if he tries to escape, and then give more money to your whole team, because that's one of his strengths too. Like, if you track somebody, and you, you even get an even trade-off, you really don't get an even trade-off. Like, the team that has tracked somebody actually wins a trade-off. So. Oh yeah, every time. That's um, one thing to note. I wonder if this is going to affect Fatal Disaster's last pick. Because now they've got to deal with potential moneymaker in Bounty Hunter. Oh. They banned the gyro. They banned the gyro? Not well, a bad choice. It's no, definitely not. Um, he wouldn't be good against the Naga Siren Illusions. So just hitting down Keeper of the Light in a team fight, just by using his split shot. Uh, I keep forgetting the name. It's it's weird. I don't know why. But yeah, just by hitting his split shot, he could potentially just get a Keeper of the Light down while focusing somebody else. So yeah. Well, <laughs> also early line. gain the control that he can put on the He's lane. Time. Yeah. I mean, you can almost put him solo against Lifestealer for the first three rounds or so, and he can pretty much keep Lifestealer at bay. Aww. Lone Druid bay. Yep, and Dire team pick. you need to know, Toby doesn't really have a hard carry yet. Admiral Devourer is okay, but as a hard carry, it's really hard because he can be quite squishy. Morphling. And Morphling. Oh. Ooh. That's interesting. That Wait. is. The Viper pick was pretty quick too, so I'm trying to figure out what evil they're up to now. Yeah, both of them really knew what they're going for. And Morphling, I like the choice, I must say. He's good at nuking. Like, you maybe know the shotgun combo. It's like, you don't get it until the mid to late game, but it's when you, like, shift all your, uh, all your uh, stats to agility, then you buy an ethereal blade, and then you, um,. Then you adapt to strike him, and then that's just ridiculous damage. It's just like a shotgun to the face, hence the name. So, yeah. 
that might be a combo he's opting for. Yeah. And who, you th- who do you think uh, won the game if someone did? Oh, well. Uh, I mean, won the draft. Yeah. Right, the the draft. It's kind of mixed, really. Uh, the Morphling gives them a lot of capabilities. I don't know how it's going to work out against a Life Stealer, but the Life Stealer Weaver Weaver Viper combo is pretty nasty. Um, how well then that again, works isn't out that in the too long much run? Gary? Uh, yeah. I mean, not exactly true yeah. there. They could do a lot of things. But still, then you all won their levels, like. They're all so dependent on getting level 6 and, uh, well, I don't know. What do you think the lanes will be, too? Uh, looking at the lanes, I expect Morphling to go off in a lane with Visage and Rubik. Bounty Hunter taking a solo uh-huh. and Outworld taking the mid. Mm-hmm. And then on the Radiant side? On the Radiant side... <sighs> no, that is the Sash. Radiant side. On the dire oh, side, oh, on the yeah, dire side, right. I expect uh, Weaver to solo, Viper to mid, and Keeper alike, Naga, and Lifestealer going on a tri lane on the top. Yep. Agreed. Just because Lifestealer will stay in lane, Weaver will do some harassment, and Naga can stack camps all day long. Yep. So, yeah, let, let's. Should we already do the introductions? I don't think there's anything special to note. Oh, he's back. Never mind. Got it! So, yeah. Go ahead, starting in the Radiant side. Hmm. I believe. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, in the Radiant side, we are looking at... Mr. Chipper as the Outworld developer. Oh yeah, you're gonna say it, right? Jeb Zig as a Rubik. Make Total Destroy is the Morphling, Mumbledore is the Visage, and Red, Red. as the <laughs> Bounty Hunter. Alright, Then, okay. on the Dire side, oh, yeah, then yeah. on the Dire side, we have the Lifestealer uh, being uh, the, uh, YK, on the Weaver we have Sykes, on the Naga Siren we have Vine Sasso, on the Keeper of Light we have Dumbfound Dead. <laughs> Sorry. You know you love it. We have, yeah. And finally we have Dietrich. So, yeah. Now, it's on the Radiant side, a... they're all heading over here to the bottom jungle. And... Another pass by to dust soon, hopefully. Bum, 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 bum. I don't like long passes. It is nice to notice that they both have good carriers. We've got the Captain Bamboo. And... The genuine Smeevil. But you've got three on the bottom yep. here. Uh, three, yeah, on, on the die side, but on the radiant side, we have all five, oh, five of them on the I've bottom, seen. yes. It's actually yeah. kind of weird because Lifestealer went for a solo lane. If, if mm, this is actual yeah. lane layout, how they're planning on doing it. Keep your uh, light wants to drop these. Thing. These wards, and I think he's not going to like what he finds when he rounds this corner. Especially if mm-hmm. yep, Astral Imprisonment uh, is up. Uh, 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 oh, no. Uh, he got spotted uh, just like, in uh, time. I, I kinda, he's kind of like, I want to go, but I don't want to go. <laughs> I need to do my stuff, but uh, at the same time, I really want to go. So, I yeah, want to survive. Like, okay. Yeah. Out world would so be the gonna... one thing you do not want to run up on. Especially as Keeper of the Light. Well, just the, the whole combo. You, you have a, a Rubik, a Visage, an Outworld, and don't forget about the Morphling. He's maybe not the best early game, but he can't be neglected either. No. He's getting pursuing what it's way for. Well, he hasn't even picked his skill yet. That's a good thing. Bounty Hunter picked up an invisibility. Like he needed that. Well, it saves him some mana, so it, it's a good thing for him. That is a... I, I actually like... Wait, the Life Sealer is going alone. Yeah, the Life is going alone. Maybe not the baddest choice, you give him the most XP and gold possible. Well, maybe not gold, but XP-wise he's gonna get the most out of it. 
and yeah, like I said, you you maybe don't get the goal because you can't secure it, but he should be all right too because of his life steal. So yeah, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, there shouldn't be too bad of a hold up. Uh, the Viper versus um, Outworld. That's pretty good. I like the double stack here on these to make sure they've got vision up there. They even put down a sentry yep. to make sure there is no double ward specials. <laughs> they know it's exactly. there too. Yeah. And uh, there was one more thing I was going to point out. Uh, yeah, Viper's actually a very good mid up against an aggro because he doesn't need that much mana necessarily. He can be just fine without it. Yeah. Especially as things progress on, he's going to be able to handle that fairly well. He's not as Manda dependent as many other champions. Manda? Manda dependent. Manda. Manda. <laughs> like banana. -na -na -na. Okay. Um, Lifestealer is actually doing very well on last hits. He's going 8 to 1, while everyone else from the Radiant side is kind of. Like, Morphling is at 4. Um, that's not a lot because he's been fighting against the tower, his own tower. How, how ironical is that? It's like, <laughs> I'm gonna steal your last hit. I can imagine, like, uh, the. I can imagine, like, the tower really being, like, this evil thing. Oh, Just I can imagine. All day, it. Like <laughs> I can see that happening. I mean, right now. I actually like that there's a. Yeah. There is a lot going on, but it's a lot more of just far- Oh! Oh, uh -oh Weaver's getting Weaver. pulled in! Weaver's gonna get a lot of harass! Wow, that's, that's pretty close. If he would've landed, like, two more hits, that could've been a dead Weaver because of the Visage. So that's one thing to look out for. And I think that's the reason he immediately got out of there. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, nope, Visage is getting too much. Nah, uh uh <laughs> So uh, yeah, it seems like um, Viper's doing pretty damn well against the OD2. They're both kind of low though, that's one thing to look out for. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, Outworld got a solve, and Viper doesn't have any, so that might be a trouble. Might be a little problem, but I don't think it's too bad. No. Well, what's really bad is, is Viper's got twice the last hits as Outworld, almost. Radiance top tower. And that's yeah. going to cost him. I mean, Outworld's yeah, not, oh my god, I've got to have farm to survive, but he does have to have some. And if he's stuck at half farm, he's not going to be able to do as he needs. Yep. And one thing too is that the Outworld general, uh, generally just owns the mid, because he's so good. But against the Viper, like I said before, it's not really, you don't really have a big advantage if... You have any advantage that is? Yeah, um, the advantage can be neg negated. Um, the problem is, is that world does more damage the later the game goes on. So if he can control that viper, like keep messing up his last hits mm -hmm. and just forcing him back, it's gonna work out better for him. Yeah, but yeah. Uh. We're, we're gonna see. There's a lot of action going on for sure in the middle, so we should keep an eye on oh, that. Oh! Just missed it. <laughs> just missed it, too. And now the Naga Siren might even drop. Is Naga Siren gonna drop? She maybe is. But the Morphling is getting attacked by Weaver, too. But now he might be in trouble. He's charging his, his strength. And now there might be a counter initiation, but no. No. Okay, they're gonna stop it for now. And that was a good action. Yeah, the, the Morphling got a good kill out of it. Unfortunately, first blood went to the other side and it was just perfectly timed uh, Keeper of the Light Illuminate just making sure he was controlling that he almost got all of them with it it was really close on that yeah well he, he's very good at shutting down any aggression in the early game and he can't even punish it if it happens yeah the only problem with this is Bounty Hunter's really losing out on top he cannot yeah. handle this life stealer, and it's showing. He's almost it's a third less last hits than life stealer. Life stealer is just eh, whatever. I'll stand in the middle of this. 
Yep. So they've really got to hope that hmm. the tri lane starts picking up some kills just to start controlling the uh, late game here. And Lifestealer is already set level 6. That's pretty noteworthy because, like, the mids have just reached level 6 too. And knowing that the bounty hunter is level 6 too, I mean, it's like having two mids if you have two solo lanes. Well, bounty hunter 6, so is Outworld. So, so is. Yeah. They've got a good setup. Bounty Hunter is going to try to get in here and put some tracking down to really start helping getting that gold in. Um, yep. And that I'm might be a really good gank. Uh, if they get it off, it might be nice. Uh oh. Outgrill the Viral has haste through, but it's going to wear off soon. No, actually, no. They're going in on the Viper. They're trying to harass him as much as possible. They're really trying to get him. They want to get the kill. A lot of gold will be given. And now the Shuriken, there it is. Shuriken's going to finish him off. Nice, nice. action. They need that money. It wasn't and that's the big key. Yep. And it wasn't as uh, as clean as it maybe could be, but it was okay. In the end. Yeah, I, I really and think they he, wanted to give that to Outworld. Yeah, maybe, but he had to sh throw out Shuriken to get it. But still then, Outworld gets some bonus money, so it, in, in the end, it's still a big win. I think they want Weaver now. There it is. Yep, definitely. They go in on the Weaver. There's a nuke from the physician, and now it's going to be a finishing off by the Morphling. Bounty Hunter's going to run away. A nice Illuminate, but it, it doesn't do that much. Oh, anymore. he wants. And now oh, and he got the trick. Get track. And now. Wow. Two track kills. Actually, two? I'm That's not sure. three. Two or one? That's three well, total. Yeah, of course, but yeah. That was two back to back. Oh, he did land that tracking just in time. The yeah, problem is, is now he's. He needs some mana, and he needs some life. <laughs> well, he did it very well there, and he's actually having a bottle now, so it doesn't really matter. Hmm. I believe Idril Devourer is building a, building a mechanism, so they're really going to put it... Um, have an early mechanism so they can have team fights, and then they can win the team fights to get it with a morphling and whatnot. They're going to get a lot of gold. If that happens... I think that's actually their game plan, just getting an early mechanism and then from that point on just getting together, finishing them off, tracking some kills and win the game. I think really that's the game plan. Well, it's really bad is it looks like they're getting to the point where they want to take out... Vi Viper's actually having to run constantly right now. Under the tower, may I add, and what a sanity eclipse! Oh, wow! That was more than half of, the, of his health. That was big. Yeah, well, what's killing him is the fact that they, it's actually putting the fear. I mean, I was reading an article the other day about how just getting it in people's heads they don't have a chance to win is really big. And there's certain characters or heroes in the game that'll really do psychological damage more than anything else. Bounty Hunter, yep. Ricky, um, they'll scare you. They'll be like, oh crap, I could die at any moment. Yeah, and exactly. That's kind of, if you look there, you saw the Viper was hugging the tower long before Outworld got up on the hill. Yep, and then he even ran back to the second tower, but Bounty Hunter had illusion, so that's why they could push it there. And Lifestealer gets to the top tower. He's been mashing on it for, like, so long. He's going 62 last hits. Can I repeat that? 62 last hits. That is double everybody else. Yeah, so even though TBD maybe has a gold advantage, they do, it, it is going down to FD, otherwise on last hits, on yeah, it, it's going massively towards their direction there. And he just picked up his uh, armlet, by the armlet. way. Yep. Now, about to got an invisibility rune. Because <laughs> he needs it. Yeah. But there's a sentry uh -oh, ward right there. From the Nagasara, the Illuminate is being charged. Admiral Devar is not going to get hit by the Illuminate. It scares the Bounty Hunter away though. He has to track the Nagasara. And that's it for now. They're still trying to make a move both sides. Are they going to make a move? They know that there's know. vision there though. So they're not going to move in until they're sure it's clear. But Visage has got familiars in the woods here. 
and he's waiting for that Naga to move in the wrong position. You can see well, it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, come on, just... please cross. Please, I dare you. <laughs> yeah, and now, like, this Admiral Devar has been doing very well. Uh, just using Astral Imprisonment to get it some uh, more intelligence. So he can then get a massive Sanity Eclipse off. Because when he gets that off, he can almost one hit the Keeper of the Light. It's not even funny. Yeah, it is pretty bad, and I think they know that. It's the reason they're keeping the Keeper of the Light back so far. Problem yeah. is, is, one of them's gonna make a mistake uh, oh, no, of moving no, no, forward. For, no, it actually, no. Okay. They thought they're about it. They're looking to do something. The buckler has been popped, so that means they might go in there while it's still active, because that, that little bit of armor makes a big difference. Oh, it does. It's one of those things you spam every time it comes off cooldown. And Morphling got a kill on the Weaver. But what a sanity eclipse! A noise illuminate too! Uh, the Hadrill Devour got picked up, the Nagasaren got picked up, and that's it though. Actually, yeah, that's it. But the illuminate really made that the Hadrill Devour died. Otherwise, it would have been a really big one. Because then, like, they could have all died there potentially. Yeah, it really oh, helped out. away with one kill. Yeah, it, it got him scared, and that's what they wanted. But then again, there were three people committed on the dire side, and still they died against two. Yeah, and that's really. Oh, they. I think they want themselves a life stealer. They can't get it. No, but they want him definitely. But yeah, they'd like well, a taste of some outworld. <laughs> He's or almost some doubling life the morphling. He's almost doubling the Morphling's farm, so it's understandable. And yeah, they've FD got to shut him down going, here at some point. Yeah, if he is about going even with uh, TBD on gold, which is really peculiar because there were there were a lot of track hills early game. Well, yeah, early but they game, haven't had any early, in a while, game. and life still taking that tower and pretty much having free farm up top is really allowing him to get out of control. Yep, and now they're trying to do something at bottom. There's four from the die side at the bottom lane. They're trying to make something big happen. If this works out, that might even get them right on track. And but and the blazing, familiars but... already spotted it. They lost a familiar on the flyover, so they know what's up. Uh, uh, do they though? But they don't but realize they're coming the mid. No, uh, uh, they are not. And now the Admiral Devourer has been initiated upon. There's a nice net. It's gonna astral imprison on itself. But the Keeper of Light and Illuminate is actually gonna miss because of that. And now the Lifestyle is trying to make something happen. Four guys commit. Nothing. Oh, actually, the Lifestyle is getting initiated upon now. The Bounty Hunter had the ultimate of the Viper on him, but it didn't work because he was invisible. But now there's an initiation upon the Admiral Devourer again. A lot of damage going down. Illuminate! Illuminate is gonna last out. One more hit from the Viper. Hit the Admiral Devourer. He's my back. He's coming back. The budget is getting hit a lot too, but it's one for FD, none for TBD, and a buyback from the Admiral Devourer. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Uh oh, uh -oh but now the Naga Siren might be dead. This is dangerous. Naga Siren's trying to run away. A nice left up. There's the life stealer though initiating again on the visage. A nice illuminate on the Rubik. Rubik's gonna fall because of the Viper. There's the visage. Really close. A net from the Hydra from the Naga Siren. And now his visage is gonna fall. He might fall. He might not fall. He's at 4 HP. Is it gonna fall? I'm not believe it's gonna fall. But now there's an initiation on the bottom by uh, the life stealer on the outer of the Is he gonna fall? So much action going on. Is he gonna fall? He might fall. He's just really imprisoned with himself. And now he got himself into trouble. There he goes. And, uh, whoa, a sanity eclipse on all of them. But it wasn't that much damage. And now, Bounty Hunter's trying to make a move. But, oh, but Viper knows. And, uh, where did that happen? And at the bottom lane, Morphling got Weaver somehow. I, uh, <laughs> During all that action, Weaver lost yeah. to the Morphling. Yeah, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> But wow, that is that was a really active team fight. But it's peculiar that the visage got didn't get killed. He was at four HP. Four Yeah. And he eked his way right out of it. Yeah. Visage is keeping an eye on this keeper of the attack. light though. He wants a piece of it. 
I just don't know uh-huh. if he's gonna catch him. Cause that keeper of the light illuminate has been just crushing them. Yeah, they've had a very hard time didn't... dealing with it. Yeah, and too bad for uh, t- uh, FD that that illuminate didn't hit on the position. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been dead too. The so, yeah. <laughs> he loves the panda courier. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Morphling has been initiated upon a bit by Lifestealer who used his open bo- wounds, boons, wounds, wounds, wounds. Oh, I know it's weird. He uses open wounds on him, yeah. And now another open wounds. One damage, but he can't run away, I believe. And now there's a big nuke from the visage. And now I guess I was gonna run away. She's gonna teleport away. Is it gonna run? Visage stun. Visage stun is gonna latch on. What a stun! What a sign! And now she goes. But now the Wolfling is getting initiated upon too. By the last of it. Actually, there's a kind of initiation. Nice illuminated again from the... From, whoa. Okay, that was too... Life still got picked off because of the Visage nuke. And uh, a general combo. But a nice illuminated again from the Keeper of the Light. He has been really landing them well. Yeah. Uh, it seems every time they group up, there he is. With that illuminated. Yeah. <laughs> and I like what they're doing though. Look at FD. While all that action is going on, there's three guys at bottom, like Weaver's pushing. And I was just gonna run away. Yeah, because really Rubik like is not that. a good answer to Weaver to start off with. Yep. And in mid, uh, Adriel Devara almost died. He was one hit away from dying. And Rubik stole Shikuchi. <laughs> Now he can be a buck too! Hey! <laughs> is really living on a danger zone here. He's he at is. 140 HP ish. And here comes the Illuminate to finish oh, him off oh. if he's not careful. Yeah. Uh oh. Bounty's there too now though. Oh, they. Bounty They're hooked all... him up with a bottle. Yep. And they don't know that Bounty has a haste rune. They couldn't see it. And now Viper, Viper oh, oh. might have overextended it. No, no, there's too many no. there. They don't want to jump in on it yet. Yeah. Oh, but now there's an initiation upon Bounty Hunter, some harassing. It, it's a good thing to do. Poke him every time you see him. That's the only way you can control him. Yep, and Weaver and Morphling are going on a fight at top flame in the meantime. And Lifesteal is joining the fight too. This might be big. Uh, I believe Morphling's gonna get picked off pretty soon. Morphling, Morphling, one more two. No, actually, some hits away. He's charging his strength. Oh, I thought there was some action in that middle. And now he's gonna try to teleport away, and he is gonna make it. <laughs> the illusion has been lift up, and they tried to do something, but didn't work. Didn't work out so well. Yep. Our world's still pretty low. He wants to get in on yep. some of and this, but... And now there's but... an initiation upon Viper. He should really watch out. But there's a, a pot of gold that has been popped. An initiation from the Nagasai. A bad time, because the Illum- Illuminate was there too. But now, now it's gonna be big. Now it's gonna be big. Uh. They're gonna try to get a Rubik, maybe? What are they doing? So much chaos going on everywhere. Nobody's gonna get picked off. There was some bad communication. No, uh, one of the big things I saw there was the familiar... S- stunned right as the song ended. Um, and that really stopped a lot of things. Viper was trying to pick off the familiars to start with, but he guess he forgot one, and they got the stun off right there at the end of it. Got the mech on Outworld Devourer now. That's going to allow him to be a little more aggressive without as it's much not an response. Early mech, though. No, it's not it's as not early as he'd wanted mech. it. Yeah. And now, Rubik stole... Oh, he, he stole the Riptide. <laughs> it would have been nice Which if you stole the song. Yeah, there's initiation up on the Giver of the Light now. Giver of the Light, what a oh. fire of clips! Both the Daga Siren and the Giver of the Light and the Rubik die. Lifestealer killed the Rubik actually. And now, uh oh, oh, Viper, you might be in trouble. Visage already got picked up by the Lifestealer again. And now Viper, Viper has been tracked. Viper is killed by a Shuriken. And now Lifestealer is mashing on the Admiral Devara. Mighty get him down, mighty not get him down. He's so close to dying. And now, the, the open wounds, open wounds will be ready in three, uh, in one actually. No, there it is, there it is. Oh. Oh. The station, yes, the station lands, and now Bounty is trying to get the uh, haste from. He gets it. He's gonna run away. Bad career. No, no, I can't. 
The panda courier! <laughs> they almost killed a panda, can you believe that? Yeah, that so evil. it's money. Must take. But uh, wow. Visage picked up a true sight. Yeah, but life and Morflin killed the top tower. But life stealer, did you see him in that team fight? Well, yeah. it's not really a team fight. He just picked off everybody. He was going three to one, and they they couldn't take him on. Even though yes, they were low health, but still, he just came in from the rear and, and rushed two, three, uh, two, two, two guys down. Almost three. So, wow. Now oh, during really this. Bomb. Weaver gets taken down by Bounty Hunter and Morphling. Yep, you got it. <laughs> and he's doing a very good job with this Morphling, making sure he's controlling it. It's, you know, it's really funny. You look at it, and TBD is destroying them when it comes to uh, kills right now. But that lifestealer what? is going to slowly yeah. keep getting nastier. And they need to control him now. Morphling just picked up his Lincolns, money. by the way. Yeah, but uh, Lifestyle has four times money in the bank sitting too, so... He's gotta get his Divine Rapier now. <laughs> They're getting pretty even. Uh, oh, oh, now Lifestyle's like, oh, wait, what? You have a Lincoln Sphere? What? You have a Lincoln Sphere? Oh, my. And now he's like, oh, uh, I'm just gonna run away. Radiance Middle Tower <laughs> is under attack. Uh, gold, though, is going into advantage of TBD and experience. So they are winning, but slowly but surely it might go towards FD. Yeah, because they've got we, it in this. Oh, 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 there's an Adam Bounty Hunter. They might be initiation. They're all, there's four there, but they don't have any more vision, I believe. Nagasar only has one more ward. It's hard, though, and a nice visit stun. <laughs> the Morphling. Morphling uh, illusion there, duplicate was really helping him out a lot there. Yeah, just a distraction, but it's big. Cause she's like, oh, high priority target. Wait, well, that that that's an illusion. Well, <laughs> we it was it was team. the illusion of life stealer that he. The, what they really yep. worry about uh, is he could come there. In the middle now, though. Oh, a huge nuke again from the Naga, uh, on the Naga side from the fence. But life stealer, life stealer is mashing. He's going to town. A huge nuke again from the visage, but they got a pot of gold for it. And now the visage is gonna drop too. Is he? He is. He's gonna drop. And another pot of gold, I believe. And now Morphling. Morphling, might you be in trouble? He might be in trouble. Watch out, though, Life Stealer. You're close to death, too. Dyer's and Out of the Fire has been pushing bottom. But still, FD is, is, is growing and, and getting stronger, especially that Life Stealer. Yeah, the Life Stealer is slowly starting to climb out into Trouble Zone. The. The gold per minute is still in Life Stealer's favor, but Morphling's right on his tail, um, staying very close. Yeah, but look at the XP graph, and look at the gold graph, it's going down. It's really going towards FD, and not even by a little, it's kind of big going towards them. Yeah, it's almost a thousand difference there. It's allowing them to get really mo mobile here. Um, one thing to notice though, is that the visage has been doing a lot of dewarding like with the, the true uh, sight? Bounty Hunter did there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, I like that what uh, Bounty did there. Like the Viper was getting an invisibility rune, so then he was like, "Okay, I'm just gonna track you." <laughs> so I really like that move. Yeah, it's it controls them. Those and he knows he's tracked, so it's like, okay, now I don't have to sit around hiding under the invisibility. I can just go ahead and start back to the farm. Because he knows he's already been spotted. Yep. And then Life, he's been followed too. Life Stealers picked up a uh, Desolator. Oh, he did that before the team fight already. That's gonna allow him to be even nastier in team fights. <laughs> yep. And now Morphling versus Life Stealer. Thing is, it's it's dangerous for the Life Stealer because he can't slow the Morphling down. Even if he does, it's just like, okay, whoa, whoa, he has a lot of damage though. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. There's even a reaction coming from the Rubik saying like, okay, well, we're going in on you, sir. And Rubik got the open wounds, which is going to slow down everybody on their team. 
Yeah, it's gonna allow Rubik a lot of control over their team. And, 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 let me add to that, that you get lifesteal. Yep. Now, Force so, Death's yeah, been picked up the... by Outworld. That, that's actually a really big uh, oh. spell steal because now. Weaver's in the, trouble. The more... Is he there? I don't know. Gunner Hunter wants some. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my, yes, he might be in trouble. But the, the lifestealer got the physician in the meantime. But still, Bounty Hunter's trying, trying his best to get the Weaver. Shuriken Toss, Shuriken Toss is gonna get him. Big pickoff. Yet again, he's making sure that every one of those bounties count. Yep, and now, watch out, Bounty Hunter. You're getting hit hard by lifestealer. <laughs> and that, that just happened, like, bam. One net, and it's enough. Yeah, Naga is doing a great job of controlling where everybody is. Outworld yep. has to and watch Outworld it. Oh, nice. If nothing else, at least annoy him. Yep, and he doesn't have that much mana anymore. You want to have some mana for your open wounds and your magic immunity. Maybe for your infest too, because it can be an escape mechanism if you uh, infest in some of the... The back creeps. So yeah, that could be good, but no, he, he doesn't have it. And I believe he's building a... Oh, he got mana by the, the Gear of Light. And I believe he's building a... Assault Caress, is he? He picked up his uh, Hyperstone He's picked already. up a Hyperstone. Most likely you're going to see an Assault Caress. Um, or... He could be going for... Um, Golder? Yeah, he Let's could be get. heading that direction. Hmm. The real big take on it will know. be what he picks up after Dyer's the hyper. The hyperstone has it so it many will... things it can be built into. Oh oh oh! Pot of gold. <laughs> he got a pot of gold. Uh, initiation from the Naga Siren. The what? What? <laughs> that was what? Okay, Alvaro Devourer put the Rubik in there. He pushed him. I think that was a miscommunication because he pushed him literally from here to here. <laughs> like, right under the tower. And there was an elim elimination again. A nice elimination, may I add. So, yeah. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Well, and Morphling, though. Morphling is having a good time. He's destroying towers still. He's still doing what he needs to do. Bounty Hunter's being and abused. And Lifesteel is trying to get Roshan. Lifesteel is trying to get Roshan all by himself. You know, it's now that it can be done, but... He can't be done in, the, done in the future, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna go back. They probably know, and I believe they did, they did not, actually, they did not know, they couldn't see him. No, he was just out of sight, and the familiars are down, so, yeah, they don't know. He could have had an easy farm there with nothing really to catch. Though, let's be honest, most people after a certain point go, okay, I haven't seen him in a minute. They must be roaching. But then again, he could be just jungling too, and I, I still wonder what he's opting for. Because lifesteal, it, it seems like he wants an assault crest, because that's really good. A lot of armor, uh, more attack speed, so more, um, you know, you, you get more health per minute, uh, per second actually, <laughs> per minute too. But that's just a stupid comparison. You have more. Oh, oh, action, middle, no, okay. They're thinking about it. Oh no, he's not gonna do it. Yeah. But then again, he could be going for a Mjolnir too, solely because he will then outfarm the Morphling. Or at least get closer to the Morphling, because now Morphling's winning. On yeah. Farm. Morphling has had a lot, but because Lifestealer has to be in every fight now. If he's not in the fight, the rest of the heroes aren't holding up very well. Yep. And this dragging a bit while Morphling is farming is not good for FD. They want to have some action. Morphling's uh, pardon me, um, Lifesteal is actually going very aggressive. He has been astral imprisonmented. I, I think he expected it. Like, okay, I can try something here. Well, he can uh, afford uh. to bait it out. Morphling stall and invisibility rune. Nagsar still have one, has one ward? No? Yeah, she's not gonna waste it though. Now they know something's but up. Going... Yeah. But it's weird. They keep going like, okay, maybe we we could try, but 
I, I'm not sure. They really think they have vision over here, but they don't. They don't know. They didn't know they were rushing. They had a suspicion, yes, but they, they weren't exactly sure. Yeah, they had no way to show or prove it, um, which is kind of funny. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Morphling's on just going to keep farming. I mean, it's going to allow him to keep getting stronger. And that agility has just allowed him to be so Dyer's brutal. Top tower has fallen. Yep. During well, this, the building, Bounty right? Hunter took out a tower. Yep. And what I liked in the early game of the Weaver is not anymore. He was pushing the top lane. And look how, how low the tower is. It's at 240 HP. But still, it's it's like he stopped it. He didn't want to do it anymore. He's scared of the Morphling. He is scared of the Bounty. Yeah, and that's yet again, it goes back to there's so much damage that can be done to... And... Yep. Just by the psychological fear of an Invis hero. Especially if he's played well. And also a counter to him, because... Uh, 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 there's initiation from the Naga Siren in the middle. They might catch three. The Rubicus is invisible, but he's stuck there. Rubicus is stuck behind the crypt. He's gonna steal it, but he gets killed by the Life Stealer, who's magic immune. And now the Life Stealer picks up the visage. He's now mashing on the Morphling. He's trying his best, but he's But the Morphling oh, is no. just. The Life Stealer's gonna fall. Oh, an evil amount of damage. Bounty yeah, Bounty Hunter and. You, you got me off guard there. <laughs> the Viper's getting attacked by the Morphling. Morphling is going for it. Morphling is gonna get a tracked Viper. And now, my Steer is back though. He's trying to teleport away from Morphling, but it doesn't work. It's it's five for two, I believe. No, five for three, but still, it's in favor of FD. And Lifestealer got almost all the kills there. And now they're Roshaning. If they get Roshan, this could be big. But they know what's Are up. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. They, they see it's coming. Outworld's over here. He's trying to keep control of it, but they just don't have enough guys back yet. They're still waiting yeah, on... And, uh, also... Um, yeah, the Dyer got, Courier got killed too, but say what you want to say. Oh, nice. It's always good to take out a Courier. Yep. But you see, here we go. We've got the familiars over here just doing harassment checks. Like, okay, what's here? Uh I think he's going to try the 90 acres. That could be great. If he can do that, if he can pull it off, that will be great. He's trying his best. He's definitely trying his best. And life still gets the acres there. And now, oh, Rubik! Rubik, you're at the wrong neighborhood. Wow, so are you, Fizzich. But, oh, nice infestation from the life stealer. They're now trying to go for the Outworld Devourer and are not yet going to get him. The acres has been popped, but the Outworld Devourer is going to get out of there. It's what? A nice four stuff. He got the haste through it, and they might escape. They might, yes. Not might, they do. But still, <laughs> they did force the Aegis to pop, which is a big thing because the longer he has the Aegis, Aegis, the harder it is to kill him. Yep. I find and the best time to get it is directly as they get it. Just go jump right in on them um, if you can, because if you can pop yeah, it, you... it's no longer a threat. Yeah, it's less of a threat. It's still a threat because they got a lot of XP and gold, but yeah, it, it's less of a threat. I agree. And now, look at the gold graph. Look at the gold graph. Look at the experience graph. Yeah. Well, Just it's actually funny. Look at the difference between the two. Uh, experience is in FD and gold is in TBD. But it's going down. Well, it's it, it's come to be expected because of the blind hunter, of course. And, and that's his strength. If he gets his tracks up and... Uh, Lifesteal is actually going for the Assault Crest, which I'm happy for. I, I don't like to see a Mjolni that much. Simply because I don't say it, it's not a good item, but it's a farming item. It's like, okay, we're going to drag out this game, and I'm going to outform you. It's a bit of rat Dota. I don't like rat Dota. I like teamfight Dota. <laughs> well, there's a lot of options when it comes to the, the Hyperstone being picked up. And I think yep. the biggest problem they have going on here is they've got to figure out how they're going to control this life stealer. If they can get life stealer uh, under control, and, they should be and, good. And and may I add, the morphling is still on top of the life stealer gold wise. Oh yes. Also in levels, they are the same, so they can still put up a fight. But life stealer wins heads to head. I, I'm so certain of that. 
Unless, of course, what, what items does the Morphling have? He doesn't have a, sh a shotgun yet, but he's building for a butterfly. Yeah, that's gonna allow him to get uh -oh. good and nasty. The Outworld is preparing to have a big sanity eclipse. He's trying to get as much as astral imprisonment as possible. Look at him, he's just like, okay, gonna astral imprisonment you. And now, there might be initiation, a nice net. The initiation is actually upon Rubik, and one, three hits! And now, the Outworld devour, a nice illuminated again, a, a, a sanity eclipse, but it didn't do that much. The Gabriel Light is most likely gonna get picked up. He is gonna get picked up, it's a tracked kill. But look at the Visage, Visage got picked up. Uh, the the Outworld devour got picked up. And now, they're gonna push, they're gonna try to get this. During all this, Morphling's moving up into the, their base. They're working yes, on a tier 2 tower, and Morphling's working on a tier 3. And the Weaver's getting back, and he will be able to hold it off. I don't know oh, about oh, that. I think he will. He will try his... Oh, well. Mm, oh, well. <laughs> that Morphling is pretty nasty right now. He's just chewing through stuff. Whoa, whoa! That, that, what? I, I didn't realize he was so strong. And uh, Viper got the bounce hunter though. And now the Morphling has a butterfly and there's really a lot of pressure on FD now. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, um, the, the Rubik has been attacked by the Life Stealer and now they're trying to get a barracks. Trying to get to... Yeah, because now it's, they're one behind. Yep. And unfortunately... The Life Stealer's gonna get recalled. Life Stealer's getting recalled by the Keeper of Light. So now they're running away. They were scared. They are scared from the Big Morphling. Even though they got a lot of kills, they even got on top of the kills. Big Morphling is still scary. Very scary. And it's only getting worse. I mean, he picked up that butterfly. Can you imagine when he changes from strength to agility right now? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're talking almost, almost uh, 300 strength. Or well, he's literally yeah. just charging through everything. And now, what are they trying to do? They're definitely up to something. They want to find somebody, but oh, uh, he's got a farm. Morphling's got a farm. He needs money. Nice has got a farm. Everybody's got a farm. They need the farm. Everybody needs the farm. Do you know them farms? Tell you what though, that Morphling is getting nasty build real quick. Yep. But what if the Life Stealer or the Radiant, uh, the Dice pot out the haste room? If they spot it out and they give the Life Stealer, he's gonna be a truck. He's gonna be a racing car. Oh. He's gonna hit you hard. But no. Spot it out. Here's a nasty truck. Helmet Dominator on that Morphling. That's pretty nasty too. But look at that. They're, they're mashing on the tower and they're like, Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Very yeah, dangerous. Yeah, but if you look up here in the top, Morphling's Dying taking out their barracks. Yeah. And they but can't do anything to stop him. No, but they're going counter initiation. Look at that. A slot has been used, and now there's a big initiation. Uh, what? The Rubik got picked up immediately, almost immediately. The, the Morphling is back though, and he's mashing on everybody. The Life Stealer got the Bounty Hunter, and now the Morphling. Morphling? I don't know about Morphling. Now Life Stealer's just mashing on the barracks. He's like, okay, I, I'm fucking all. I'm just going for your barracks. I don't give a shit. Now Morphling and F Life Stealer fight out. Morphling, Morphling is Morphling gonna fall. That might be big. Morphling gonna fall, and now they're gonna get the barracks. Okay. That was big. Yeah, the morphling going out there was really something they didn't need to happen. Um, that life stealer is going to be able that, to power look at that. through. This might be game. This might be game. No. There comes the oh, astral imprisonment. What? Bye bye life stealer. And the there goes Viper. And oh, they're wow. working on the Weaver now. Oh my. That sanity eclipse got life stealer down and. and Weaver too. Oh, that was wow. their one mistake: is trusting that the outworld was not going to be able to do any damage, and he just walked right in on them. Oh wow! This game's really tense. <laughs> What's really bad is, even though they took all the way to the tower here, 
Morphling has a higher attack speed. He'll be able to walk in and just decimate this whole side here if they're not careful. And now that's their worry yeah. from now on. They don't have a lot of disablers. That, yep. Also that every team ha now has to defend one lane. And I would give priority over the mid lane. Because a mid lane is really good to have. Because, um, like, it, it's the point you can get back to. Like, if the mid lane pushes a bit, then it's like, okay, well, now you have to defend it. Because we, we can't get there easily. And they're going to try to get this mid tower. A nice illuminate trying to stop any aggression. Not gonna hit anyone though. Not a nice illuminate. Sorry, not a nice illuminate. <laughs> yeah, they're actually controlling this fairly well. Looks like they're gonna take this yep. tower with ease. Nope, not that easy. But oh, oh, is there gonna be a knight? There's gonna be a knight. Nice keep of light. Now there's a net on the Adrol Devourer. Is Morphling's not there? Morphling's not there. Oh no! Adrol Devourer is now getting himself into his little prison. But Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, wow! No! Wow, that's just, that's just so much that. hate on Outworld. <laughs> yeah, a lot of hate. But Morphling, Morphling's just farming. That's that's a good thing. But then again, now they lost a teammate, and now uh, oh, we Weaver has to go back. But they can push very strong now uh, because of their uh, big creeps. And just, yeah, because of the big crypts. <laughs> I want the to say end, creeps. but I can't say end. Them big creeps. Well, they kind of want this yeah. this bounty hunter. They're like, we know he's up here somewhere. If he slips in, it yeah. causes him trouble. But during all this, look at Morphling. The yeah. only thing to stop him and is Weaver. Like... And yeah. Weaver's not really a challenge to Morphling. Especially no, right uh, now. Uh, he really is not. And and they know they know. Look at look. He's like oh 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 no. Here it is. Oh, they're like oh crap. What? There's Morphling. Yeah, and they're trying to push the top lane. They're gonna get the tower down, which is very nice. But now you have to defend it. Somebody has to go back. M Morphling has a, a teleport scroll. Everybody has a teleport scroll though. Apart from the life stealer, he gets a money pot. And they're going directly for the tower. They're going to go for a base race. Morphling versus Life Stealer. There goes the rune. And on the other side, look at Morphling. That damage coming in. Weaver's trying to do everything he can in his hands, but he can't do that much. There, now there's a team fight going on, but Morphling is just mashing on the tower. Morphling going to mash on the edge. Look at that! Look at that damage coming. He's going for it. He's going for it. There's, there's some other kills, but nobody cares. Now but Weaver's going to get Holy dropped by Morphling, and Morphling's just going down. It's out of the nation, but they are too. They are too. It's a base race. Who's gonna win this? We ever stand back again to try to find it, but Morphling wins. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely sick. Morphling just so brutal. They're like, oh, we got this. Morphling's got so much agility. I don't think people understand how evil Morphling can get. Whoo! Whoo! All right. <laughs> Wow! That was heavy. Yeah, wow. <laughs> to say the least. Oh, uh, that game was brilliant. Oh, I love these kind of games. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and set up for the next game and just give us a second here.